Welcome back, Super Traders. Welcome back, Yaron. This is our London market action. It is time to act. It is time to trade. What are we starting with? We were saying and that we're going to start with the euro versus the US dollar. And I love the beginning of the trading session as mm -hmm. this is the right picture that I wanted to see. Now, we are against the New Zealand dollar today. In order to, to bet against the New Zealand direction, mm -hmm. we have to see correction. We have to see the New Zealand dollar appreci appreciating a bit mm -hmm. before we will take a position against it. And now it is depreciating, uh, the euro is depreciating mm -hmm. versus the New Zealand dollar and it is moving exactly to the point where I would like to buy it. For the short term time frame to 7, uh, 715 or 730, even to 8 uh, 8 Even to 8 p.m. 8 a.m. GMT 8 a.m. You yes. want to do it very short yes. term. Okay. Okay. I would like to see the first uh, position, euro versus New Zealand dollar. Euro versus New yes. Zealand dollar. Euro is uh, the base currency, of course. New mm -hmm. Zealand dollar is the quote currency. The first and we were expiry, saying expiry, expiry 8, 8 a.m. Yes, perfect. All right. Let's change the amount. Okay. We're changing it to... $50. $50. Stay consistent in our protocol. Yes, consistent. Okay. And we, we are taking this pair to the upside mm -hmm. as we believe that the New Zealand dollar should weaken today. Taking a call position, call sending positions. it to the upside. Perfect. All right. Okay, another one, mm -hmm. Aussie versus the New Zealand dollar. Aussie versus Aussie, New, Zealand New Zealand dollar. dollar. We were talking about it before the break. Correct. We see the diversion here. We see a momentum that is very, very clear to us. Correct. Aussie is as the base currency, mm -hmm. New Zealand is the quote currency. What we about see, the expiry? Are we taking another we very short term expiry? 8 a.m. GMT time. Again. 8 a.m. GMT yes. time. Mm -hmm. And we are going to take it to the upside in favor of To Aussie. the upside yes. in favor of the Aussie taking a call Perfect. position, sending it to the upside. Brilliant. I like it. And now I would like to trade US dollar versus the euro as euro is uh, correcting right now euro it is, is depreciating yeah. versus us dollar and it present immediate uh, opportunity to the upside for the next couple of minutes so basically we are hitting the lower deviation level on the short -term time frame we are undervalued below the average mm -hmm. and we are going to take it to the upside to the upside correct so we're taking dollar. 7 15 a.m yes. expiry time we're changing it to 50 dollars Correct. And we are taking euro versus US dollar to call position to the upside. Yes, absolutely yes. Perfect. All right. We were Let's, doing a lot of work yes, as we just started. Usually we are waiting for a couple of moments to see where the market is going. Yes. But this time around we were able to already see where the market is going. Correct. As we were seeing the same movement for um, uh, since yesterday and we see a very... Um, clear movement today the yes. new zealand dollar it's very clear what's happening yes. with it the australian dollar very clear what's going on with it so is us dollar so is euro it's it's not as if we see currencies consolidating we see very very clear movements correct. with all of them correct so that's why we we chose to, to select those currencies as mm -hmm. new zealand dollar strengthened sharply since the beginning of uh, the, the the london trading session and it presented a great buying opportunity. Mm -hmm. Now we are a bit out of the money in the euro versus US dollar, but take a look at the correction mm -hmm. in, the, in the New Zealand dollar movement. Okay, now I will wait a bit more before I'm going to look for another opportunity in euro versus US dollar. Uh, clearly we have another opportunity in euro versus, Japan, uh, euro versus pound. Euro, euro versus, versus pound, pound presents another opportunity. So we're staying in our binary options. Yes. And we're going to the euro versus the pound. Correct. What about our expiry time? Yes, I, our expiry time is 7.30. Yes, we are going to take it to the Keeping upside. it very, very short expiries yes. today. Yes, short expiries. As there's so many major events coming on, we want to make sure that um, the movement is staying the same. We can't afford ourselves Correct. a couple of hours today since we're Correct. getting those events all the time. Yes, let's go back again to euro versus the US dollar, please. Euro versus the US dollar, yes. okay, you again, see another. We are going to take two more positions to mm -hmm. eight, um, yeah, we are retreating more and now it presents better opportunity. So staying uh, to, in our binary options, yes, euro versus US dollar, what yeah. about the expiry? Yes, uh, 715. 715, yes. changing the amount to $50, staying yes. consistent in Not our protocol. 50, uh, but, uh, 100 as we have much better uh, much better success rate right now okay we have 30 seconds to the expiry of this uh, of this uh, particular um, opportunity mm -hmm. let's wait a bit and i would like to see the movement okay before i'm going du, to press du, the button du, du. 
Just a few seconds before I'm going to take the position. Mm -hmm. All right. Taking a call position, yes. sending it to the Correct. upside. And we were able to take $100 um, in our amount because we are seeing yes. the movement very, very clear. So we were Correct. able to uh, get away yes. from our consistent protocol of $50 because the, it is very clear at the moment. If we yes. would have gone to our money management system, yes. we would have let's seen Let's take a look at our money management system. Okay, let's do that. And see what, what I meant by taking now $100 and not mm -hmm. $50. Let's right? do that. Let's go to our money management system. Okay. In our money management system, in the binary option product, our basic investment per trade is $50. Mm -hmm. So th that's how we start the, the trade. Now, when we have high probability, more than 90% success, that mm -hmm. we are going to, to see the trade and in, end in, the, in money, the money, we are increasing uh, the risk exposure. Mm -hmm. and, in accordance to the success rate. Right, it's not really increasing the risk as much as it is increasing the amount because yes. the risk is... is risk and amount for me, and yeah. the, the amount that I'm willing to pay or mm -hmm. to put for each and every trade is, for me, it's the, it's the, the risk level. Mm -hmm. okay. So, uh, more than 90% success presents 100 US dollar and this is how you stay uh, on the positive side mm -hmm. of the statistic or this is a way to calculate your statistical uh, mm -hmm. uh, activity. Okay. All right, so that's why we chose uh, the hundred dollars of the yes. euro versus the US dollar. Yes, as a part of our money management system, mm -hmm. of course, and we have to be very consistent in. in yeah, as as we we're saying, we're always researching. It's not uh, making up numbers. We're usually staying consistent in our fifty dollars, unless if there's um, uh, more um, possibility of success that we can see in our money management system, and that's when we're able to raise our risk, raise our amount of trades Correct. of trading. Okay, okay now, let's move back to the platform. Well, what about the protesters? What about the protesters? Did you call them? I didn't no, call them No, not yet. yet. Hopefully, I okay. was the one that uh, <laughs> can, uh, can have the influence to do it. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I think that uh, oil prices should uh, retreat at least to 60 US dollar mm -hmm. by the end of the day. So we are seeing a selling opportunity here. Correct. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to our trading platform All and right. uh, look for opportunities. Something. We are going to take it until the end of the day. We would like to let oil prices uh, shift to the to the downside. Mm -hmm. It will take a while. Maybe we are going to see ups and down movement mm -hmm. before before, before another, the before the down movement. Correct. Okay, so we right. are staying in our binary options and we're going to commodities. Let's That's find right. crude oil. And we were mentioning regarding the expiry that we have to wait till the end of the day to see that movement. Correct. So we I'm have so seven so. p.m. And about the amount, one more time, this time we need to stay consistent, yes, so course. we are taking the $50. We, we will stay consistent, we will take uh, $50 as mm -hmm. uh, our investment uh, or risk exposure. That's the right ri risk exposure when Absolutely, there isn't yes. um, a major um, movement in the market that we see at the moment. This is okay. something that we're expecting later on when we'll call the poor testers. Correct. So we'll have to wait until we're making that call. Okay. Okay, taking a put position, sending it to the downside. Okay. All right. What about long term? Do we see any opportunity here with Canadian absolutely dollar today? Absolutely, yes. Okay. Absolutely, yes. But first, but first, let's take a look at the expiries. Okay. Okay. We will take a look at the expiries. Okay. We have five positions today. Two of them already expired. Euro versus the US dollar. So mm -hmm. let's take a look at it. Euro versus US dollar. The first one. Okay, it, it's not here yet. Let's mm -hmm. let's refresh the f the platform and see whether we have the um, scroll down a little bit, please. It's, there we go. Okay, let's go and let's try and refresh it one more time. The, the pairs just for a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go back, to, go binary back option. to binary options. All right. All right. Okay, so we took the okay. This one came in the money mm -hmm. as well. Both of them came okay, in the money? But now it presents, now I would like to, to present again what we did. When we took the position here, the, mm -hmm. the first one, the 50 US dollar, it was already, the market was already extended, was already stretched. It was the right measures mm -hmm. uh, for a trade in favor of euro against the US dollar. But as, uh, as we saw that the market is moving further to the downside, we we were overextended. Mm -hmm. We were double extending the movement from okay. uh, from the average price 
towards uh, the so downside. We, so we got there right in the last minute of Correct. overextending. So we, we, we pushed below the lower deviation level. We were extremely overvalued, uh, undervalued, and mm -hmm. that's why we increase our bets. We, all my indicators, all my time optimization indicators suggest that that was the right moment to take mm -hmm. it further to the upside with more than 90% success rates. Mm -hmm. Actually, very close to 100, where, where all the indicators that we were, were able to shouting. see it in our money management system. Mm, yes, so all the indicators sh were shouting, this is the time. This is the time. Take the position. Okay. And that's what I do. Usually I'm following my system. I'm following indicators mm -hmm. and oscillators that provides me with the current market measures in order to understand whether it's the right time or the wrong time to take the position. Now, the first one came in well in the money, mm -hmm. but also the second one came in the money as it was also a good time to look for, the, to look for a buying opportunity mm -hmm. in favor of euro against the US dollar. And it happened just... Uh, after the first five minutes of uh, London session starts, mm -hmm. and this is the time where the market is very volatile, the liquidity starts, and we took the right... But we were able to yes. get it in the money. Correct. So we took the right action. We took, mm -hmm. the right, uh, we took it on the right timing. And now we have two, more, three more open positions, two on the Aussie versus the uh, New Zealand dollar. Of course, we have a pound, uh, we have a Auss uh, and pound versus mm -hmm. the euro, euro versus pound, which is way in the money right now as well. Perfect. I yeah, think and we, we see the right oil, job. but we know that it, uh, that's why we've taken it till the end of the day. It's Correct. not in the money at the moment, but that's why we've taken it till 7 p.m. today, Correct. where we believe we're going to see a turnover. Absolutely, yes. All okay, right. so let's take a few minutes let's break. Let's take a few we'll, minutes break. And we'll Let the market move around a little bit. Yes. When we come back, we'll continue to trade. Stay tuned. Absolutely.